Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer for videocopilot.net, and uh, this is sort of a supplemental tutorial. And basically, I want to show you the vanishing point tool inside of Photoshop and how you can import it into After Effects. And this is going to be contrasting the 3D projection tutorial from earlier. Okay, so here we have a picture inside of Photoshop CS3 Extended. And basically, it's our picture of our alley. And I'm going to choose Filter, Vanishing Point. Okay, so here we are in the Vanishing Point dialog. And what we're going to do is take the Create New Plane tool, and we're going to draw the shape of each of these planes. So you just kind of click, move, click, and you can see um, it automatically creates these planes um, based on you know where you point. And if we drag the bottom here backwards, it automatically extends that plane. So it kind of suspects that that's what it's doing. Then if we take the Create Plane tool again, we can drag upwards to create a side. And we come over here to the other side, and we'll again drag upwards. And we'll take it again, and we'll go to the back here, and we'll make a back wall. And I believe if we just take it again, it'll automatically kind of pull forward like that. So it's pretty cool. And then we can also adjust the planes so that they kind of overlap with each other so that we cover the entire scene. So now that we've done that, and that was pretty easy, you got to say, uh, we can go to this little arrow here, Export for After Effects CS3. And I'll just go ahead and save this as alley.vpe, and that's the file type for this vanishing point export format. I don't know. And I'll hit save. Okay, so here we are in After Effects CS3. This is probably the first time you've ever seen me in this program. And a lot of people ask, you know, are you going to be doing CS3 tutorials in the future? Or, you know, well, let me just respond by saying, does a one li <laughs> this joke is just too funny for humans. Does a one-legged duck swim in circles? You bet it does. Anyway, here's what we do. After Effects CS3, file, import, vanishing point. Come over here to our uh, vanishing point folder, alley. Just click OK, and it imports it. It creates a folder with all the images that are pre-sliced up, which is kind of nice because, because they're images, we don't have the problem with the 3D projection of turning up the shadow map. And also, you can light this scene up a lot better with regards to you know adding things in it and having shadows and all that stuff. It really does work functionally better um, with a few little side effects. So if we open up the alley, um, composition. You can see we have a comp that's a little crooked right now, but it comes with a nice parent that all the layers are connected to. So we can simply rotate the parent on the z-axis, in this case, and just straighten it out. Now I will tell you, sometimes things come in really awkward, um, and here are a few of the drawbacks, or just, you know, caveats that you want to think about. Firstly, the position data is astronomical. Um, so when you create new layers, they don't always show up, you know, right where you think they might. They're, uh, they're pretty far away, and uh, that can be a little problematic. Um, but, you know, if you understand it, I'm sure you can work around that. Um, the nice thing, though, is, yeah, if I do create a new light, uh, like a point light, I can uh, move it around in here and actually have it relight the scene somewhat, which is, which is pretty cool. And if we move this forward, um, you know, you can see this is a pretty impressive effect. Um, now you can see our background layer is pretty bright, and if you remember that from a previous tutorial, just sort of a, a side effect. So if we take the exposure, where's that at, and bring the brightness of that down, you know, we can sort of create this effect um, a little bit better. Um, but uh, anyway, I think it's a pretty impressive effect. Let's see here. Um, you know, with some, some minor, minor little uh, things you have to worry about. Now, sometimes when you import the scene, um, it's, you know, you can't even find it. And that's the truth. So you do have to kind of reposition the parent to kind of bring it back into a, a normal, you know, project file, or at least what you might expect it to be. 
Um, the quality is great. The speed is great. Um, you know, it is definitely a nice new feature of Adobe After Effects and the whole production studio. I recommend you go out, you buy Adobe After Effects, the whole studio, go buy it right now, get your credit card out. And if anyone from Adobe is watching this, you can find my address on the website, send me some new products, you know, all that good stuff. I deserve it, please, <laughs> please, <laughs> shameless. No, no, what I meant to say was go and buy all the video Copilot products first because you need those. All right, this is just getting out of control. Anyway, my name's Andrew Kramer for videocopilot.net, and um, you're just watching, I guess, what might be called the first After Effects CS3 tutorial by Video Copilot. We'll see you next time, guys.